My Design Rules is sponsored by Capitec. Better never rests. We've seen the talent that Cape Town has to offer, but it's far from over yet. And now it's Joburg's turn, where four more talented duos await their moment to shine. And it's all happening at CTM stores in Centurion and Alberton, where their design skills will be put to the test. Now, after our expert panel of judges have deliberated, they'll choose four teams from across the board that'll make up our official final four design duos. This is my design rules. It's day one in Joburg as we kick off at CTM in Centurion, where our excited hopefuls arrive ready to take on their first challenge and show off their skills. Something's very nostalgic about entering because we grew up in front of like top billing. That's, that's something that influenced our careers, you know? So being part of this is, yeah, it's got to be a dream come true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, contestants, officially, let me welcome you to my design rules, where every moment is a masterpiece. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Zueli and I both entered my design rules because we're both passionate about architecture and interior design. I'm an architectural technologist, and he's an interior designer, and we just make the perfect team. This is your opportunity to show us who you are through your design. And you can impress the judges with something that is innovative, functional, and beautiful. You'll get 5,000 Rand to spend at Buco, a further 5,000 Rand in cash, compliments of Capitec, and 35,000 Rand to spend right here at CTM. Hi. Hi, Josh. Hey, me. Nice to meet you. Too. <laughs> it's the first time to meet. <laughs> We're quite different, but it's, we're going to make magic. Absolutely. And you can better your future with a grand prize of 300,000 Rand. Yeah, that's what's up. You heard correctly. And it gets even better because there's a further 100,000 Rand for the viewer's choice. And that's courtesy of Capitec Business. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to win. You guys can expect excelente. Dynamic duo, opulence, you know, we're taking it a bit further than everyone else. Now the real question is, are you ready to shake and make? Yes! Well, contestants, officially, let's start in three, two, one, let's go, the clock's on! <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> My name is Bapelele Ngosana. And I am Sipeng Ngosana. Um, we are brothers and we are from Cape Town, based in Joburg now. Grew up in the Eastern Cape? For sure. Definitely. Born in the Eastern Cape. M Tata. And we were running a small company, a legacy company that is called Ngosana Interior Architects. These brothers are all about opulence and high-end finishes. Their plan is a masculine yet classy space with attention to detail. My name is Zweliwan Zinzuza. I am an interior designer all the way from Richards Bay. Um, my name is Tia Henderson. I'm 22 years old and I'm also from Richards Bay. Tia and Zweli are bringing together their own personal styles with a blend of neoclassical and modern elements with pops of colour. Back home in KZN, their colleagues are holding the fort while they're gone and throwing all of their support behind this dynamic duo. Tia and Zueli, we are rooting for the both of you. Good luck, guys. Good luck. While most contestants entered as duos, Josh and Amy entered as individuals. Impressed by their talents, the producers teamed them up. I'm Amy Moses. I'm Joshua Ebert. I'm an interior designer from Cape Town. And I'm an interior designer for Johannesburg. We don't know each other at all. <laughs> we, <laughs> we entered um, My Design Rules as individuals. Yeah, and um, we basically then, we were paid up and um, I think we make a great team. I think hey? so. Yeah. Their plan is to find synergies in their styles and interests with a love for organic beauty and modern farmhouse design. Hi, my name is Vila and I'm from Johannesburg. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lungi Lengkonsi and I am from Johannesburg. 
Why well, I think we will win the prize. Absolutely, why will we? Why do you think we will win the prize? Yeah. We're a dynamic duo, mm -hmm. right? We're different. Mm -hmm. We bring the boldness, mm -hmm. we bring the pizzazz, but overall, we bring the lux. Mm. It was very similar to this one. There's a, it's a blue version of this one. Yeah, it's a blue version of this one. Uh -huh. um, but I do like this as well, actually. Yeah. Found it. Yeah, well, Let's go. So our plan for the bathroom is we are in dire need of a vacation. So Marrakesh jumped into our heads and we were like, we're bringing Marrakesh to Joburg. I think we've got the whole package really in terms of what we're thinking for our, our bathroom design. It's so Morocco and it's Lux. Yeah. Next up, day one continues as the Joburg hopefuls get into their designs. Find your wonderful. <laughs> Jacobs, Wunderbar. Happy Tech. Do it all on our app. Just like that. It's day one of the Joburg Challenge and our four design duos are starting to find their groove. What else did you like? Mm. Oh yeah. That's a... Oh yeah. This. Oh. The plan going to the challenge is to keep the bathroom as simple as possible. Choose very strong materials. Yeah, like use different layers of materials just to show like contrast, but very like sophisticated but simple concept, very strong concept, and follow it through to, until the end. We want to create a curved feature in the bathroom for impact. Because it's so difficult, it's expensive to create a curve, it's time consuming, there's so much that can go wrong. I mean, we're risking it. Our first challenge, a curve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like this. Hey guys, how's it going? It looks like we're making some big choices. How's the planning working? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's going great. You know? Why do you think that you could have what it takes and hopefully have what it takes to be a winner? We bring something different in the form of our space. It's very risky and I think that's going to be the little... <laughs> <laughs> big risk, big reward. That's what we came here for, to make a statement and... Uh, I think the rest is up to you. Good luck, guys. Our plan for this bathroom challenge is to really go bold, uh, to really go unconventional with our material choices. We are very excited to be working inside a CTM because we have all our materials here. So as much as the time, we have a time limit, but then we are still close to all the materials that we need. We are still close to all the help that we need. There's also a large variety at the CTM store and we're so happy to make use of all the different materials. And then four of the 2.7, so four of these. So it's correct, these two must come. Hey brothers, how's it going? Oh, good, good, man. Well, it looks like we've got a plan already and got it's well underway. Yeah. I've got a lot on my hands right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at designing something under pressure, and this is an opportunity to say the least, right? But when it comes to the fact that you are both brothers, this could also add another curveball to things because sometimes brothers work together, sometimes they fight, but does this always work out for you in the end? Yeah, for sure. He's a bit of a problem, <laughs> but you know, it's put in me, you know, for us to be like, to work well together. So I don't know, we never find like crazy problems. I feel like he's the other side of my mind. I'm the other side of his mind. So wherever he can't see, I can see. No, I absolutely love that. The sentiment means that you're going to have each other's backs. Yeah. Why do you think though that you have what it takes to be a winner at the end of the day? Oh. I think we're bred for this moment. I just think like we have a lot of experience working together. We have something new to showcase the industry and we're very versatile. So you put us anywhere, we're going to make it work. We're just more hungry, like we want this. It's, it's this or nothing for us. It's beautiful and it's got a lot of character, especially yeah. the blue one. It's almost like a terracotta coming here. Yes. We've decided to use two basins and put them on top of each other and create this hourglass planter because we're incorporating the curves um, and an hourglass is usually typically associated with a woman and we're bringing in our femininity to the space. 
So we're gonna start with our main tile. It's got so much personality and we'd like to pull from those elements in the tile and bring that into the space. It works for our dark themed bathroom, but it's still got a bit of that lightness. Lots of textures coming through, yeah? I think this is the one, bro. I think so. Our company's name is Nasan Interior Architects. We tell people stories through spaces. We get to express ourselves as much as we can. And since it's always been a matter of growing up in a home where mom is an artist, we learn how to express yourself and through art, and then we find ourselves in, in a space of interior design. With everything going on right now, what do you think is gonna give you that extra edge and be the reason for you hopefully winning this one? I think our unique color palette, we've made use of quite bold tones and colors and we're willing to just go with it and change stuff. Like setting forth some walls, it's gonna give us dimension and depth and actually just pull our whole bathroom together. So it's not just a flat surface that we're working on. Meanwhile, Bula and Lungile are putting two basins together as a planter, an application that is not advised. Okay. So this is our planter, and now we're going to mosaic it because this is the best way to also display some of CTM's products. Putting all these pieces together on the basins to create the planter is taking a little bit longer than we anticipated. However, we definitely think that it's, it's a work of, what do they call it? A labor of love. A labor of love. Yeah, it's a labor of love. So our toilet will be a floating toilet and then we'll have nice shelving there that are going to be sunk into the wall and then we'll cover it with tiles. For our shower space, we really had this idea of like this nice warm cave which is why we are using the terracotta tile. The terracotta tiles resemble dry desert sand, like that orange look and feel. And we're so excited to combine it with our gold fixtures. Yeah, I feel like we just have a lot of hunger, like, um, and we have a lot to prove to ourselves. And again, with the dreams that we have for the bigger picture of who we want to become, this still just feels like the beginning. We know we're close to where we want to be. Yeah, it's just like, it's, it's, it's a bit overwhelming because it's just like, still day one. You want to be excited, but at the same time, the job is not finished. Each duo knows there's a lot at stake and making it through to the top four is going to take everything they've got. At the end of the road, there's that potential of 300,000 Rand and an extra 100,000 Rand compliments of Capitec Business. How do you think this will further advance your career, your vision, and where you'd like to go in this space? Sure. So firstly, for the both of us, we're moms, right? So we've got kids almost the same age. Um, so I think that will really come in handy. Um, but also just to grow our businesses, I'm currently looking for an office space. And if I can get that office space without having to loan money, all the better. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to expand my brand a lot more and introduce some homeware as well. So that would give me a great boost. And I think with us expanding our businesses, it also gives us an opportunity to employ more people, which is what we want to do at the end of the day is employ more people. Basins. Oh. Vanity and the basin. So we love this basin, yeah. It has this texture here. It adds a different element. I think having this texture like layered up on what we have is gonna be amazing. This has character. As if time wasn't tight enough already, Josh and Amy have been thrown a curveball. Do you have any idea what time that uh, curve will be on site, more or less? So we're not going to be able to get it through to you today. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have ordered the materials, there weren't enough in the factory, but they should be arriving at about quarter past one. This might be the thing, we're fighting for our lives, yeah. While Josh and Amy wait for their curved wall, they head off to Buco to stock up on supplies. So we are here at Buco and uh, we came to pick up our paint supplies, drill bits and um, lights. I like fixtures. Yes. yes. But now, is this waterproof Hold laminate, on. sweetie? Let's look at this. Yeah. Do they have a longer one? Stand back and then I'll stand back. Other way. I think we need to go for a wooden floor look. I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, I like how that warms up a space and even though it's a tile, it still has that wood finish that looks yes. warm. Yeah. 
So the gold is supposed to tie in with the rest of our fixtures, okay. um, our handles, our flush plates, okay. our drains, our shower. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we are feeling very confident about the three days that we've been given for this challenge. I think because we've planned properly, um, even though there are like things that are not lining up, but then we are able to fix our mistakes. Things are looking far less positive for Josh and Amy, who can't get much done till their curved wall arrives. So are we planning today? We're going to complete our planning. We're going to complete our planning today, I think. No work. I'm struggling. <laughs> <laughs> As day one draws to a close, most of the duos have made good progress. But Josh and Amy will need a good night's rest to deal with tomorrow's challenges. Whether you're looking for a lock up and go, or a settle down and grow, an office for your booming business, or a safe haven, we have a space for you. It's day two at CTM and our Joburg hopefuls are back in action working on their bathroom spaces. What's up, what's up guys? We're back at it. It's day two mm -hmm. and we're out here doing the Lord's work. <laughs> It's the beginning of day two. I'm stressed beyond belief. I didn't sleep last night. The curved wall hasn't arrived on site yet, and it's a particular concern for us at this stage. Um, we're not sure what our plan is going to be. Hey? Yeah. The pressure is pressuring for him. I think our biggest concern is our timeline and making sure everything is completed in time. It's quite a short challenge, and the hours go by very quickly. Putting these pieces on those basins is taking a little bit longer than we thought it would, but it is a labor of love at the end of the day. <laughs> I am finishing off our planter. It's come along very nicely, so it's beautifully mosaic. All the pieces are in. It's ready now to get grouted, and once it's grouted, it's going to be beautiful black finish. And you're not going to find this anywhere else, only here on my design rolls. So far, the element tile is the tile that we've put in, which is the gray tile that we have. So now we're doing the ruby tile, which is our feature tile that is going to be put on our wall feature. Yeah. And the next step that we're going to be taking it is we're going to be putting in our bath, basin, and our toilet. So we noticed the gap okay. uh, on these signs over here, and we would like to redo this gap. Okay. Maybe close it up a bit. We are ripping off the tile that we did yesterday and we have to retile again. We're trying to make everything look seamless and nice. We don't want to cut corners. We don't want unnecessary gaps. So we think it is good that we're starting over. We're not mad at the time that we are missing. We just care about having this thing done perfectly. Finally, a positive turn for Josh and Amy as their curved wall arrives. But now they play catch up. So at the moment we are busy Getting this curve wall up and running and uh, I think that we're going to be done sooner than we think, so that's a good thing. But it's not looking so good for Bula and Lungile as the stress of the challenge is taking its toll. You said that you want me to run around and get all the stuff. You said you've got nothing. No, you, because you said you want to do this. This is what you enjoy doing and you want to do the I DIY. I'm doing the individual pieces now. You know, we can't we do were individual doing this, pieces together. We were doing this together and then you yes. said you want this to be your task. I must run around and get everything else. You That's said what can truth. you do? I think we're just pasting too many tiles. Like once you're pasting down individual tiles one by one, I think it's over thousands at this point. And now there's an issue with grout. I don't know how to mix the grout. You said you know how to mix the grout, let me just get the grout. So I got the grout. Now the grout is here. I genuinely can't believe we're debating mixing I, grout. I can't believe that you're changing when the cameras are on. No, that's what's why are you saying me. I'm not being a team player when I'm sitting here me. working on this? Thing. No, Bila, what's frustrating is that you're changing that's your tone. Unfair. You're that's changing your tone when the cameras are on. No, that's very unfair. Yeah, our emotions got a little bit tied up. Let's go, guys. <laughs> the wall's going in now. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I can finally take that off the list and just settle. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so relieved. <laughs> no, me too. <laughs> me too. This has been a long wait and it's been a stressful wait. So yeah. finally this thing's out. This, this connects like this, right? Sorry. Right? Because of the tiles that we chose, there's a lot of correspondence and the puzzling that we need to put together. So now what we're dealing with currently is making sure that everything is fitted properly. Our main thing is having this line, so we want to make it the seamless continuity the continuity of the pattern of the tie. This is definitely my first time grouting. This shouldn't take too long because I'm almost there. Then we're just going to wipe it down and just cut off, I think, the ends of this, whatever we can cut off so that we can try to get it as smooth as possible. And then from there, we are going to carry on installing our fixtures. I'm not really happy with this wall. I don't like how the texture is coming. I think it's all give us a lot of problems going forward. So what do you think we should do? What is our solution? I think we should go to get a rhino board to cover this whole space up and paint over there. Okay, yeah. I agree. Let's go. Ligile <laughs> <laughs> was here working on the planter and then it rolled off the platform. I just heard gah. Next thing you know, it's on the floor. So I'm just trying to put in the little pieces that fell off when it fell. Unfortunately, she did cut herself, but hopefully she's coming back soon. A mosaic is, yeah, oh. literally cut through my hand. If I'm being very honest, it's not that deep. So yeah, after about two hours, is it two hours? Yeah, after two hours, you can take it off. Then we can put a plaster for you. I love you. I love, love you. Love you. By fire, by force. By fire, yeah. <laughs> We're in this together. We partners. Yes. This is a marriage. Definitely. And in marriage, you have conflicts yeah. and you resolve the conflicts. Yeah. The guys have fitted this curve. They're just going to see if it fits correctly on the left and the right side. And we're going to bring the back wall forward a bit with a false panel because we don't want any dead spaces. And we're going to put shelving on top of that. We're going to be installing two arches, one in the shower and the toilet will be in the arch. We chose a white mosaic because it just brightens up the space and it brings some sort of dimension to the space. We love the soft curves of the arches because that brings in the softness of our personalities, of our femininity. So you'll see that in most of the elements we do pick up on the curves is repeated quite a lot in our design space. For the big curve in the shower, we're thinking mosaics, upright mosaics, so that it easily follows the curve without having to cut a million tile pieces. Are we going to install a shower here? Maybe shower yeah. door and pivot door or...? No. No, no, no door, nothing. We wanted to have a wet room. A wet room. <laughs> <laughs> a wet bathroom is basically a bathroom that can be wet all over. The drain is basically in the middle of the entire bathroom. So, yeah, that's basically a wet bathroom. Because Reddy just came back from getting some rhino board and it's a bit too short for our area so we need to try and fit a piece and get it in seamlessly so we don't see the edge that it cuts at. Can you help me problem solve please? Okay. For right. real? Sorry. What are we doing here? What do you think? I need, I need, I need your thoughts. Yeah, let's paint here. Paint this colour. Paint this colour. Here and yeah. here. And here. And an edging strip. Do you think that's the right decision? It's the only one you've got. We're going to try and use masking tape and wood filler and just try and make it look seamless so we don't see that ugly edge. To choose the right wood filler for their rhino board and gather a few other odds and ends, it's off to Buco. We go for the wood filler. Mm. But then I think we should just go for white. Okay. Let's just do... 500, okay. Yeah, that's the How biggest many? one do they we have. Two? Yeah, I think we should take two just to be safe. So this is our pictures that are going inside of our frames and we're basically choosing ones that we think best suit our color palettes at the moment. These are the towel rails we've chosen to use for our artwork. Even though you are designing a structured space, you also want to bring in a little bit of personality. So this wistful wall abstract art, that's where that comes in. 
I think there's been a lot of beauty and a lot of growth so far in the last two days because we're the captains of our own ships. You know, she runs her own business, I run my own business. So learning how to work together, how to compromise. That was very interesting. Yeah, yeah. that's been interesting. It's been challenging. And I think through it all, we've learned so much about each other on a personal level, which is beautiful as well. So we're debating the flooring. We have this beautiful terrazzo look, large tile. We're gonna cut it 300 up, 600. Brick Kit Kat, brick Kit Kat. Two Kit Kats stacked up. We can't. When I say we, it's probably me. <laughs> Want to create a um, tile mosaic, tile mosaic pattern. But time wise, we're probably just gonna have to lay the... The big tile. It's the end of day two and I think we've accomplished quite a bit. We're very impressed that we were able to put up our crown molding. Although it might not be to the best and we still need to fix up the corners, but we're very proud of this accomplishment. As we reach the end of day two, the duos are feeling positive, but they still have a lot of work ahead of them if they're going to meet the deadline tomorrow. Tech. Do it all on our app, just like that. Stand a chance to win a weekend away in the winning apartments with Buco. Dial star 120 star 62800 hash and follow the prompts to enter. Begin with Buco. It's the final day for our Joburg Design Duo hopefuls as they fight to earn a spot in the top four. This is day three of the challenge. We are definitely feeling confident about this challenge and we know we're gonna finish it. Today is the last day. Today is the day. Yeah. Things are looking a little bit shaky. Things are looking shaky. We're hoping to be done with the tiling in the next hour or two. And then after that, we're going to install all our fittings. So our toilet, shower head, shower screen, mirror, the vanity is going up currently. And then we're going to do a quick run somewhere in the middle of it for the rest of our accessories and our plant, which is a big part of this design. No tiles on the walls, on the curve, on the floor, no paint yet on the walls. So at the moment, we, we are pushing for time. We need to get this done ASAP. I just want to see everything done. I'm sorry, like my mood is like not, I'm not, not in a great mood right now because I just want to see everything that's still outstanding. Yeah, just to be done. I'm using wood filler to seal the corner so that you can't see the gaps, which came about when we cut the cornices and placed them at our 45 degree angle. So it looks seamless. This is really frustrating because, you know, like it's the final day and we really don't need these types of setbacks. Everything that's gone wrong has gone wrong and we're just, okay. This is it, this is it. <laughs> we are working on our mosaic planter, which has yeah. at this point taken three days. <laughs> it has taken three days. I wanted to just finish this off. I think I'm also losing a bit of passion for this thing because it's taking long, but Bula's doing the things. Maybe one of us can leave it actually at this point to go get the other what, stuff the that plant? we need, the plant. And a towel. And a towel. Okay. The curved wall was an ambitious design choice and the stresses that came with it are taking a toll on Amy. I'm about to crack. Earlier, Josh noticed and he pulled me aside. We need to just pull us off towards, towards ourselves. ourselves. There we go. <laughs> It's another day at work for us. Stressing is also part of it. But obviously there'll be no cameras, so you know I can spaz up, but but I'm gonna spaz up right now. <laughs> In stressful situations, uh, we have this chemistry. I, I, I think I, I should call it chemistry. He's more of a positive and very high energetic person. I'm a bit of on the negative side, very calm, you know, so with that dynamic, we always find a way to, you know, if he's flaring up, I'll be there to calm him down and be like, yo, listen, let's do it this way rather, you know? To get away from the stress on site, the brothers head to Buco to search for globes for the right lighting effect. Bro, 
What's up, man? Yeah, I was just thinking, like, you know, grab some gloves for the wall lights yeah. that we got there. Um, I think we should go for, this is perfectly fine, a warm light will work better than a cold, like, LED light. I mean, to bring ambiance in the, in the room, like, a warm light will work perfectly. It will actually create a nice mood. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we need to bring, like, a bit of nature into yeah. the bathroom. I saw actually as we came in that there's actually plants here. Yeah. Very cool. I think we should check that out. Let's do that. Currently, Pete is finishing off the wall and then he's going to start with tiling the vanity and then we put our, yeah, our fixtures in. So I'm just waiting for us to put our fixtures in. I'm a little bit anxious, if I'm very honest, I'm a little bit anxious. So much pressure. But, yo, yo. What sort of um, scent would you like? Uh, like room like scent. Grass vibes. Anything, babe. I just need you to actually get back because it's getting a little bit tense. So, yeah. It's getting tense. What's going on? Okay. No, there's just a lot of stuff. So we need to also start tiling, essentially, or something. By 2 o'clock, I'll be there. I know I have a full hour on, on the site, essentially. OK. Wow. Oh, the lights are on. What a nice color. Looks amazing. Nice and warm. I think seeing those lights, I think it made a lot of sense. You know, I think it just gave us that extra spark to keep on going because like they actually made us realize how really beautiful the space is. Josh? Yes. Lengthwise or horizontal? Um, lengthwise. That's going to be the quickest. We have a pattern designed for the floor where we have to cut these large scale tiles. We're not gonna have time. The clock is ticking and with only one hour left in the challenge, they're going to have to roll up their sleeves and get their hands dirty. We have to do this thing ourselves now. You know, really have to get our hands dirty. My blood is flowing. Um, adrenaline. Yeah, the adrenaline is crazy right now. Using machineries myself and just pushing everyone to do their best. I've never known how to mix grout, so now I need to start grouting. I've broken a bucket. Um, two buckets. Two buckets at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've broken two buckets. I'm now grouting the wall. I'm about to start tiling. So yeah, I went from not knowing how to mix grout to now tiling and grouting. I might become a tiler after this. I'm really enjoying it. Hey, I'm back. Go. Oh. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> Hi. I'm so happy to see you. What's going on? Okay, so we've just installed these lights. So these came in eventually. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Now I'm just finishing off with the arches. We're just mosaicing them. And then on the sides, he'll just put the off cuts. Of oh, the so tile. it's half mosaic, half tile. All right, competitors, your time is almost up. Officially, you have 30 minutes left. Time was faster than our dreams, actually, and Definitely. our vision. But a minute ago, we thought, we thought we would be cleaning. We yes. thought we were putting in candles and all of these nice to-haves, and we're still tiling. Now that our vanity is up, we're able to see the finish line. We, however, still need to add our terrazzo on the top, as that is acting as our granite tops because our budget did not allow for that. I think we're really doing amazing right now. I think when the time ends, we'll be done with everything. We're finishing off the grouting. She's putting in the little tile pieces on the side here so that it's not unfinished. We have to finish. And then we've got two things to install. Three, a mirror, toilet, and shower screen. Yeah. 30 minutes left. It is what it is. <laughs> it does what it does. It's a competition at the end of the day and I'm here to win. So time's killing me, but we have a strong concept. I'm very confident of the concept, but uh, just a few touches. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. We're not going to make it. It's chaos. It's, it's chaos. absolute chaos. It's our final 30 minutes and we still need to finish our fixtures. We need to finish tiling our floors. We need to grout our floors. We're getting in our shower door currently. However, it's quite a challenge. Please come do it with me. It's moving hectic. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. 
we haven't done the flooring yet. Our heads are all over the place. We, we've got nowhere to go but to actually just work till the last minute that we've got. Exactly. Um, we just got to keep going. Just the hooks. Uh, B, yeah. you want to put on top of or under? On top. Yeah. Ne? yeah. Yeah. Things are falling apart, so we do also really trusted in our glue gun because yes. I mean these heavy tiles are on the wall. So oh, now when it gun. comes to fixtures, which are small and lighter, they're not sticking. You think it's gonna hold? What about the light, the hanging lights? The what? The pendant lights. We're gonna have to leave that off. If there was one day I needed my partner, it was today because she's the technical genius, you know? I really am just the pillow fluffer, you know, make things nice and pretty. Still need to put our basin on, our taps on and start accessorizing our vanity space, but the end is near. So you know the plate on the top of it? Yeah, they show it with it. We're going to, we've taken it off and it goes down into the ground. So we're cutting it off. Yes. All right, contestants, this is your last time call. Officially, you have five minutes left. The pressure is so intense, but the problem is everyone's trying to finish their work. Everyone's clambering over each other and things aren't moving fast enough. Just, I need space. I need to think, I need to process. So I have to grout our floors with cloud grey grout. We still need to clean off the Verona grout that's on our shower. We still need to make sure that everything's intact. And yeah, there's still a lot to do, but I think we can do it. Cleaning, Cleaning. trying to put in a tab. This tab is just like not sticking. We don't have no. time to actually drill it in. I want to cheat it and like just stick it in there. Yeah. So that was crazy. At that point, like my mind is just, I'm like, I need to get done. We've got three minutes remaining. Oh. Literally, the last piece of the vanity is going on. Um, so I'm happy that that's going to get done. And I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning so that we have a presentable bathroom. Back to judge their spaces are Sudesh Bagaloo and Patient Stevens, who also judged the Cape Town hopefuls. Judges, we've reached that time again. Are you ready for a countdown? Yeah. All right, contestants in five, four, three, two, one! Johannesburg, your time is up! Tools down! Let's go check it out! After three long days of design and construction, the challenge finally comes to an end. All that's left is for the judges to view their bathroom spaces. Viola and Ingile, it is so exciting to see your final project. I'm sensing a bit of emotion here as well. Talk Definitely. to me about your bathroom. Um, I think we're speechless. Mm. Uh, first word that comes to mind is that we're really proud of the work that we've achieved and the time that we've achieved it. We, we brought a lot of personal story to this space here. Mm -hmm. The first thing that stands out to me is the arches. Our artist, um, she's got a daughter, her name is Anaya, I've got a son, his name is Malakai, and we wanted to have two arches specifically just to represent them. Yeah. So I think that's... Uh, don't cry! <laughs> getting there. Judges, what are your thoughts? Well, I definitely think you have uh, answered the brief. I love the marble look you've created, especially the way you've mixed it with the wood panels on the floor. The beautiful story you told us about your children. I think the shapes really echo and, and mirror the shape of the toilet as well as the mirror. So I think you've really captured that. I love the lighting. I love the mosaic treatment that's recessed that really brings out the marble look and, and makes it come alive. Maybe slightly a bit overdone on the decor, but overall, I think you've captured the essence of this look. Definitely the more is more look, uh, which has become a trend and shifted away from the minimalist less is more look. So well done. Thank, Thank you. you. I love what you've done with the arches, the story of your two children, beautiful. The attention to detail, perfect. But one thing, that you had a budget for accessories. I would rather you went and bought two containers for your pot plant than convert two basins into a pot plant holder and spend that time and effort on grouting it and putting tiles on it. But overall, I think it's beautiful and that extra time might have just gone into your toilet roll holder and making yeah. sure that it's <laughs> stuck on the wall. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Well done. You think we're going to Cape Town? I don't know about you, I've already packed. Oh, okay. 
Um, we're really proud of, like, despite all the setbacks that we had, uh, we just persevered through that. We were able to push through, we were able to come up with a really creative solution. So that is really good. Yeah. Well, judges, here we have Zueli and Tia. Uh, guys, talk to us about your bathroom. It's a mixture of a neoclassical and modern uh, styles. So it, it sort of like describes us as a team as well. So we had to blend our styles and our designs. So I was more with the neoclassical, uh, she was more with the modern. We both love the pops of color and we've included that on our prints on the walls as well. We also made a unique use of the gold against the terracotta because we love how the two complemented each other. And we kept our gold fixtures throughout the rest of our bathroom as well. I love the way you've interpreted this look. Uh, I love the use of the terrazzo tile. Uh, you've picked up the warm tones of the cotta, which is very on trend. And I think the overall look with the gold accents, I think it really brings it together. I would have maybe kept a plainer countertop, but overall, I think the look works really well. Thank you. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. How did your background from Richards Bay influence what you've put together here? We almost had to like show ourselves that we deserve to be here because no one really knows Richards Bay and we wanted to just put our mark out and show them that even though we come from a small town, we can still pick up trends that are current and are happening in the bigger cities. You've certainly put Richards Bay on the map. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. It was a bit difficult dealing with Zueli's expensive taste, but once I was able to let him cut it down on our toilets and choose slightly cheaper stuff, we were able to keep it under budget. Thank you I guys. make you look good, you make me look bad. You have expensive taste, I'm just being honest. <laughs> so good. I feel amazing, part of the work that we've done. I feel like it looks amazing, yeah. but like um, I'm really into detail, the finer touches, you know, details, everything in design. Um, so I hope we gave it our, our all and it's, it's received well. And officially this is CP and Papilele's bathroom. Yeah, Jen, so talk to me about your bathroom design. We were aiming for opulence, for excellence, and like uh, we were aiming for a really high-end feel. Uh, you can see the touches of gold there, you know, that matte black. And we just kept it like, you know, simple but sophisticated. But more than anything, we wanted the design to look like it was well thought out. Hope you guys are impressed. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Gentlemen, I love what you've done with this look. I especially like the black paneling uh, housing the mirror as well as the lights. What I really like about the space is the way you've used our product in a very small space. The use of the recess to house storage and just the beautiful modern look that you've created with a bit of classic and the use of our black uh, sanitary wear. I think if I had to change something, I would have perhaps kept this panel the same in the gray tones so that the marble look served as an accent wall. But I think overall it still works. Working as brothers, how did it go even under stress? Did it put pressure on your relationship? So there's a chemistry that we've yeah. and a bond that we've had for a very long time. So working together is like play. Yeah, but like it's also like our mom was very strict on us being close. Turned out that we're also both creatives. Our mom is also creative, so it's always been like that at home. So, you know, it's just another day at work for us. Oh, I love that. Shout out to moms. Absolutely appreciate you. Well yeah. done. <laughs> well done. I, I'm sure your look's going to inspire our customers as well. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. We think we're going to Cape Town because our design is different. I think, yeah. yeah, we've got character and we're good designers and we're stylish. So I feel like South Africa wants to see this. That's true. <laughs> I love it. I like how it's the overall effect. Yeah, I agree. It was a tough challenge, but we, we managed to do it. We gave it our best. Yeah, so, we did. And we, we did have fun, so that's all that matters. Yeah, we did have fun, I agree. Yeah. I love the whole thing. It's awesome. Hey, Josh and Amy. Oh, this was a big challenge for both of you. We went through a lot on this one, but talk to me about your bathroom. It's a modified version of our gorgeous organic beauty. Yeah, I think this, this design collaborated through farmhouse design and um, a little bit of modern twist to it. I enjoy the, the lightest color scheme. I think it opens up the space very nicely. You met each other for the first time doing this. 
You are in a stressful situation. How did you bond getting through and climbing the obstacles that you were facing? The working dynamics between me and you, it's, it's, it's not of the same art as many other contestants, I believe. All of them know each other. You and me, yes. we don't know each other. And yes. I believe for that, that we pulled this off, we could be proud of each other. I think so. Well done on pushing yourselves and well done on putting this off. Great achievement. Thank well you. Done. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Well done to the both of you on creating this very cohesive look. I love how you use the inspiration of our terrazzo tile to bring out your color palette, which I can see evident in the use of the Kit Kat on the basin, in the shower, as well as on the walls. I also like the use of curves, which is very on trend. And I love how that's echoed in the mirror usage as well. But um, I think next time, from a timing perspective, if you make it to the next round, just use your time more wisely. Yes. Absolutely. Agreed. But well done. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I think we've got something special. Absolutely. Obviously, we're going to the two Cape Town. <laughs> what is your overall perception of our Joburg duos for today? When you look at these finished products, you can see the people who actually made the effort to do it themselves. Mm. That they didn't just leave it to the handymen and the craftsmen. They got in there and physically added to the end picture themselves. Yeah. And I think that's so important that you have to make it happen. You can't depend on other people to make it happen for you. Yeah, and I mean, there was so much emotion that was left out on the table today. So Desh, do you think that that was something that you expected to see? Yeah, I, I've witnessed some strong emotions today. I think the challenge has certainly pushed them from a timing perspective. Mm. I think they also pushed themselves uh, to probably a level they didn't deem possible. Mm. And I think that's evident in the looks they've created for us. Looking at what we've judged today in Johannesburg, I'm feeling very excited and I'm very proud to be part of this show. We still need to figure out who is going to be the top four duos that we decide on for our Cape Town apartments. Only time can tell, it's going to get interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely will and I think we saw some hits and misses today with the management of time. It's all about how the eight teams all stack up against each other, so looking forward to that. <laughs> Our design hopefuls have had a taste of the pressure that comes with this competition, but only four duos can make it through and be given the opportunity of a lifetime. All that's left is for our judges to come together and deliberate. So join us next time on My Design Rules as we find out who our official four design duos will be. Let us know which bathroom design is your favorite and you could win 5,000 Rand cash from Capitech. To enter, reply to the competition post on the My Design Rules social platforms and include hashtag Capitech and hashtag My Design Rules. My Design Rules is sponsored by Capitec. Better never rests. Another feel-good production.